Let's look at uh, the solution of the two new case studies that's been added. EHR Healthcare, which is a leading provider of electronic health record software to the medical industry. It's a cloud architecture use case for on-prem to cloud migration and how to use scale the environments. Helicopter Racing League, it's a global sports league for competitive helicopter racing, which is a cloud AI ML telemetry and streaming problem. Let's look at EHR Healthcare first in terms of the problem statement. It's a health record software. They provide health record software to the medical industry. Their use case is the business has been growing exponentially year over year, and they need to scale environments, adapt disaster recovery, roll out new capabilities. And they have chosen Google Cloud to replace their current role location, uh, co-location fa uh, facilities. Current state, they have multiple co-location facilities. There's a lot of web-based applications running on Kubernetes cluster. Uh, data is stored on variety of, of databases, relational as well as NoSQL. Monitoring is done via open source tools. Their business requirement is that they need a high throughput connectivity and 99.9% uh, av availability for all of the customer facing uh, systems to uh, reduce latency and make predictions and generate reports on industry trends based on provider data. Their technical requirement is maintain legacy interfaces to ensure uh, insurance providers with connectivity to both on-premise systems. So connectivity to on-premise and cloud is very important. They should be able to dynamically scale and provision new environments. Uh, and then they're also looking at uh, managing their uh, massive footprint of container-based environments. So now let's look at uh, a possible you know, future state solution. So from the infrastructure point of view, it's been called out that they have a lot of co-location facilities. Um, the lease on one of the data center is about to expire so from they can they can adopt google's um, infrastructure or platform solutions for data centers they can use global vpc for for better connectivity so the traffic stays within google network they can use multi-regional application for dr uh, they can use hybrid connectivity, which is cloud in interconnect, which can give them 99.99% of time SLA. And then they can use cloud VPN. Dedicated interconnect for high performance connection between on-premises and GCP. In terms of applications, they have a lot of web-based applications uh, and they run on a group of Kubernetes cluster. So they can bring all of that under one single pane of glass by using uh, uh, Google's uh, GKE, Kubernetes uh, Deployment GKE, cloud and on-premise container-based environments management and integration using Anthos. So they can look at Anthos as a way to manage Kubernetes cluster on-premises as well as Kubernetes cluster on, on the cloud from the same pane of glass. Future, uh, they have a lot of uh, API-based integrations with the legacy files and all of that. As a future solution, they can look at APG to provide that API gateway and for the proxy management of all of the APIs. For predictions, they can utilize AI platform, which is a unified uh, platform for end-to-end -end life cycle of, of machine learning. Data ingestion can be done uh, for streaming using PubServe, Badge, uh, using cloud storage. For processing that data, they can look at Dataflow or Cloud Composer to take it to, uh, to different sync. Databases, they have a different flavor of relational as well as non-relational da uh, databases. So for MySQL and MSQL, they can look at Cloud SQL. Redis, uh, they can look at, utilize Cloud Memory Store, which is a managed version of Redis and Cloud Fire Store, which is same as MongoDB, or alter, alternatively, they can also look at using MongoDB as a partner solution, which is well integrated within Google uh, Cloud Console. For monitoring, they can look at Cloud Monitoring for alerts and notification, charts and dashboards, Cloud Logging, which can automatically ingest audit and platform logs and manage retention and policies. One of the other requirements they had is they, they 
they are looking at CD capabilities. So they should be able to spin up a lot of environments with ease and, 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 and uh, basically proper maintenance. So they can use Terraform for infrastructure as a code, use cloud source repositories for storing the source code, use cloud build for deployment and orchestration, and then use artifact repository for container images. Now, now these are the possible solutions. So there's again, depending upon the question, uh, what has been asked in the questions, there could be different choice of tools and everything. So just be, be very careful in terms of the questions, what the question is trying to explore. I hope this helps. So let's look at uh, Helicopter Racing League. Uh, again, as a background, it's a global sports league. Uh, for competitive helicopter racing. Their use cases are mainly that uh, the existing AI ML solution that, uh, that they have, the managed solutions. So they want to migrate it to a new platform. And the second uh, most important thing is they want to make sure that the content, whether it's real time or recorded, can be delivered very close to the users, mainly in the emerging, mar emerging market. Uh, in terms of solutions, uh, public cloud first company, uh, all of the encoding and uh, transcoding is done in the cloud. Uh, the enterprise grade connectivity is provided by the truck mounted mobile data centers. The technical uh, requirement is that they, they, they store everything in object storage service right now. And the video encoding and transcoding is done by VM. Uh, VMs created for each job. And the race predictions are performed using TensorFlow running on VMs in the current public cloud provider. The business requirement is, is, is all about exposing the predictive models, giving better insight into races, which is embedded inside the video, which gives them better fan engagement. And uh, uh, <clears throat> to basically create a merchandising revenue stream. The technical requirements are increased prediction throughput and accuracy, reduce viewer latency, increase transcoding performance, and uh, create real-time analytics of viewer consumption pattern and engagement, and create a data mart to be able to enable processing of large volumes of race data, everything in real time. They want to uh, bring high adrenaline racing to fans all over the world. And the whole idea is to basically engage fans as much as they can through the videos. Now, let's look at some of the possible solutions. So one of the major ask is about the, and that happens with most of the media content is about the transcoding services, and which is pretty complex. A lot of times you have the code base spread out everywhere. Every VM for every job does the transcoding. So what they can look at is use uh, preemptible instances for VM-based encoding solutions, which is much cheaper, and you know you can spin it up. But as a long-term strategy, they should look at containerizing the transcoding uh, solution and run, manage it using Kubernetes engine. This gives them much uh, better scalability, faster transcoding solutions, and you maintain a single uh, code base. And this way, uh, because it auto scales, they can run lots and lots of transcoding at the same time. TV box telemetry, uh, the combination of app engine to ingest data and then transmit it using PubSub uh, do use data flow uh, for, for the real-time streaming uh, ETL work, and then you can push all of that data to BigQuery. You can use Cloud Composer as an orchestrator to you know, orchestrate the, uh, the ETL work on these video feeds uh, to different things. Then Cloud Monitoring uh, to have a better visibility into telemetry and, and get additional insights. Now, one of the other ask was to have a live video, uh, to have a better, uh, to almost uh, negligible latency for live videos. 
So possible solutions that they can look at is use HA configuration of cloud VPN for connectivity between mobile data centers and Google Cloud. Use cloud CDN for delivering content with the speed, efficiency, reliability close to the users. Use cloud storage with multi-regional buckets to serve contents. And then they can look at uh, the PerfKit benchmark, which is provided um, uh, as part of you know, Google ecosystem, which gets them visibility into metrics like latency, throughput, and zitter. So once you have set up the multi-regional buckets, cloud CDN to deliver those contents, you can look at this benchmarker to actually see which region and where and, and mostly in the emerging market, what's the latency, and accordingly, you can act on it. Google Cloud also offers Network Intelligence Center, where you can get comprehensive and proactive monitoring, troubleshooting, and optimization capabilities in terms of the content delivery. For AI and ML, they can look at AI platform for predictive efficiency. Use TensorFlow Deep Learning VM instances. Then for analytics, uh, one of the requirement is to create a data mart. So use BigQuery as a data mart for processing a large volume of data. You can use Looker for embedded analytics. So on that data with applied AI, uh, you can get the real-time analytics, which can be feeded back into the video uh, for better fan engagement. Use BigQuery streaming API and ML solutions to get additional ins uh, insights for increasing fan engagements. So I hope this helps. Um, again, the solutions are as good as the requirement. Uh, and uh, uh, you have to look at the question that what part of the requirement uh, the question is trying to point towards. There are always multiple solutions. Um, and it has to be, and the clue always lies in the questions. There will be something which filters out some of the options. So you have to be very, very careful and read the questions very clearly and try to find out those uh, those sections of the questions which try to filter out some of the options. So I hope this helps. Thanks.